In this video, we're going to complete example two, which says a helicopter travels 85 kilometers due east, then travels on a bearing of 145 degrees for 70 kilometers. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on A and B a bit later. We need a compass, so I've got one here, and we're going to start by trying to sketch what's going on here. So we're traveling 85 kilometers due east, which means to the right. So we need our starting point, which we'll call O. O stands for origin, and usually that's what you call your starting point. And if we're going 85 kilometers east, we're going to the right. Let's do a really nice long line here. Put a dot, let's call it A, and say, well, this is 85 kilometers. All right. Now, it then travels on a bearing of 145 degrees. And what's really important is we need to understand that our compass moves. It moves with the helicopter. So the helicopter is now at point A, so the compass needs to now move to that point. And we want to travel on a bearing of 145 degrees for 70 kilometers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, well, 145 is the same as saying 90 plus 55. They add up to make 145. And the reason I'm doing that is because east is 90 degrees and we need to add on an extra 55. So we can see that we need to add on 55 degrees like so to get our bearing. So let's do a nice long line like so. Let's call this point B now. And this is 70 kilometers. All right, now that we've done that, I'm, I'm, I'm doing trigonometry. So I'm wanting to look for some sort of a right angled triangle. Um, and I can see one there. Um, I'll draw it, we'll just carry it on in black with dotted, like a dotted line, like so. And here's my right angled triangle. I've got an angle of 55 degrees and I've got a side of 70. And just quickly looking at question A and B, it's asking you to find how far south the helicopter's traveled and how far east the helicopter's traveled. And in order to do that, we actually need to find the length of those dotted lines. So we'll start, we'll call this dotted line X and we'll work that out. Uh, I'll just grab some red. So X would be your opposite. It's opposite the 55 degrees and 70 is the hypotenuse. And using Sokotoa at the top, um, we are using the first part of Sokotoa, S-O-H, because we've got an opposite and a hypotenuse. So we're using sine. So sine of 55 equals opposite over hypotenuse, which is x over 70, and then we do a slide, we slide the 70 to the front, 70 times sine 55 equals x. Now let's bring up our calculator, and checking that it's in degrees, 70 times sine 55 equals, and we get 57.34. All right, now it hasn't told us how to do any rounding, so I'm just going to do it to the nearest kilometer. So let's just say 57. So x equals 57 kilometers. Uh, we did that to zero decimal places. So we'll just show what how we did it, how we rounded it. Now moving on to question, oh, we're not moving on to question B, my bad. Uh, we need to find the side here called Y now. So we know X is 57. Need to find Y. How are we going to do that? Well, Y is adjacent to the 55. And we're going to focus on just using the adjacent and the hypotenuse side which is the C-A-R-H part of the acronym. So we're going to go COS. So COS of 55 equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which is Y over 70 this time. 
slide the 70 to the front. Uh, 70 times cos 55 must be y. Let's work this out on the calculator. Clear our calculator. 70 times cos 55 equals and round into the nearest whole kilometer, we'll say 40 kilometers. Like so, so we've rounded it to zero decimal places, which means that y is 40. All right, now we can answer questions A and B. In any movement of some sort of an object or a person, there's going to be a vertical and a horizontal component of the movement. Now, in this particular case, we started at O. This is our starting starting point and we ended at B. This is where we ended up. So to illustrate what the horizontal component of our movement is, I'm going to mark it in orange. So this is our horizontal component and the vertical component I'm going to mark that in a pink color and this is our vertical component of our movement. Now if you think of question A which asks how far south has the helicopter traveled from its starting point, south is a vertical movement and if you think of question B how far East has the helicopter traveled. East is a horizontal movement. All right, so the answer to question A is 57 kilometers because the vertical component, which was in pink, was 57 kilometers long. And for question B, which was the horizontal or orange line, actually has two parts to it. It has an 85 kilometer part and a 40 kilometer part to that section. So for that one, we need to add up those two distances. 85 plus 40, which is 125 kilometers. And that concludes our video on example two.